How to make money on Facebook Live. In this video, I am going to answer this question just for you. So thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Thank you for checking out the channel. Be sure to subscribe for more kick-ass content in 2018 and beyond. I'm going to go take a business from zero to six figures and I'm gonna teach everything I learned along the way through this channel. So make sure you subscribe. Now, how to make money through Facebook Live. There is a right way of doing things and a wrong way of doing all things, right? And I'm assuming you're trying to do it the right way and that's why you're here doing your actual research. So congratulations to you, first and foremost, for actually doing some research into actually doing something properly. Now, how do you go about making money on Facebook Live? It's really, really quite simple. You go live, you make a video, and then you offer something of value, right? But you don't necessarily do it every single video, and you don't necessarily pitch all the entire way. Okay, for those of you who followed previously, you might know about webinars. Webinars still happen today, but faith, but live seems to be the new way to go, whether it's through YouTube or Periscope or Instagram or Facebook, right? So here you are learning how to make money on Facebook Live. Now, I have done it and I have made money from Facebook Live, but first and foremost, like you're here on YouTube, right? So that's obviously my primary platform, but I have done it on Facebook Live and that's what I'm gonna be touching on in this video. So the way you make money on Facebook Live is just like selling any other product. It doesn't matter if you're doing it through affiliate marketing or if you're offering your own coaching or or anything like that, right? Courses perhaps maybe or something that you're offering of value, right? That is going to make a difference in somebody's life. So when it comes to making money on Facebook Live, the way you actually do it is you need to provide a link at the end of the day. So how I actually got to learn to do it is because I did it differently previously where I would shoot the live and then I would post a link. What I found a lot more effective, and this is gonna help you, is that have your link ready at the very, very beginning of what live, what you're actually going to be going live about. So if you're going to go live on Facebook, right, and you're gonna be selling, uh, you're gonna be doing some sort of presentation on fitness, for example, have your link ready to the course or the personal training, the package that you're offering, or whatever the case may be at the very beginning of the video, okay? So as soon as you click live, post it as the very first comment, the product that you're actually promoting. Because what's gonna happen is not a lot of people are gonna stay for an entire video. Even this YouTube video, you might be ready to clock off now, right? Even though it's a 10 or 15 minute video, just like the Facebook Live video, it might be the same thing where you'll find people will knock off after 15 seconds, 30 seconds, three minutes, 10 minutes. It really depends on what sort of customer is following you. If it's a prospect or an actual customer or a client or perhaps maybe a raving fan. If they're a raving fan, they're gonna watch all of the content all the way through. So now you, you want the most opportunity, the most bang for your buck per se, so that you can get the opportunity of getting a sale. And the way you go about doing that is providing the link at the very beginning. But before we actually go through that, here's the thing. You need to understand the purpose behind Facebook Live. If you want to learn how to make money on Facebook Live, okay? So the purpose of Facebook Live is not necessarily to just go on there and try and hawk your products, right? To try and sell them off like you're forcing other people to buy your shit from your own personal profile. No, Facebook is a social platform and that's where a lot of people make the mistake. They treat it as if it's a business. Yeah, sure, I treat my platform, my, my Facebook profile like a business, right? I, I put out certain content for people to consume, but at the end of the day, I do, I do provide a lot of personal insight and a lot of value on my profile before I ask anyone to buy or invest in anything for that matter, right? You'll probably never sell me, see me selling anything on my profile. I might have a link to like a blog post or a YouTube uh, video series or something like that, but you will never see me selling on my profile. And that's the mistake that a lot of people make. They go onto Facebook Live thinking that it's the same thing. Hey, I can just put my hand up, make this live video, and people are going to start buying my shit. It does not work that way way okay so the what you actually want to do is understand the purpose of facebook live the real purpose behind it is kind of like a vlog if you will right you want to connect with people you want to build trust and you want to provide value okay an excellent example of that is ray higdon the man himself if you want to go to his fan page go ahead and like it and even if you want uh, noted as like see first 
So as soon as you go on your profile, as soon as you open your Facebook app, you'll see people, you'll see his content first. So you can see how he actually does it. He provides motivational quotes every single day, and then he does a live video. But he hardly ever sells on that video. He never really goes out there and go, hey, look, I've got a new course now. It's $297. I want you to buy it. No. The way he does it is that he connects with people through his through his profile, right? So he lets people into his life, for example, he'll share things about his his own personal goals or you know his family, and then he'll go and do a live video where he'll provide some actual value to the people who are in the MLM industry. Now, I personally, I highly recommend that you follow Ray. I follow Ray and I'm not even in MLM, right? I follow him because he's a model of consistency of how to do things the right way, right? How to be successful mid to long term, okay? I'm not in for anything for short term gains, short term gains. Short term gains, what the hell is that? What I'm in for is long-term gains and how to actually go about doing that. So focusing on things like habits and best practices and everything like that are what I'm all about. So Ray is the perfect example of someone that you want to follow if you want to learn how to actually do that. And that's why I recommend you follow him even if you're not MLM. So how do you connect on Facebook Live then? Very simple. Provide personal and private insights into your life and your mindset because what that's actually going to do is not, is, is not only connect with people, but it's also going to polarize your market. You know, you want to set standards, you want to set beliefs, you want to set values of what it is that you're actually doing. So, for example, if you come across as someone who provides massive value, you know, who doesn't just throw spam out there, then you'll keep spammers away from you. You're going to get the odd person here or there that are still going to get through. That's fine. It is what it is. That's Part of the business, right? For example, if, if you have a retail store, whether you like it or not, someone with dirty shoes and hands are going to come through and touch all your merchandise, okay? There's nothing you can do about it. All you can really do is control what you can control, and that is by connecting personally with people so that they can actually see the value of what you're actually doing. In doing so, right, you're actually going to be building trust, which is probably the most important thing for doing business especially business online. Why that's so important is that nobody is going to buy anything unless they trust you or the product that you're offering, okay? And doing Facebook Live gives you the ability to be able to connect a profile with a live video message with someone who's interested in you and what it is you're actually doing, which is why I am so high on video. Video to me is everything, right? Which is obviously why I'm very serious about YouTube. So, the third thing you want to do is you want to provide massive value. I've always believed in this principle. It is the reason why I have the mentor I have today. I've been following him for two years and I don't have any interest whatsoever at this point in being mentored by anybody else because he provides huge value. For example, if you spend $100, if you invest $100 in one of his courses, you can bet your ass that you're probably going to get $1,000 worth of content. If you invest $1,000, you can bet your ass it's going to be worth $10,000, okay? This guy provides so much value that I don't see any need of connecting or working with any other uh mentor at this point in time. Now, I'm not saying find one mentor and stick to them and that's the end of the, you know, that's the end of the game. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that when you provide so much value, people will connect with you naturally because you have so much to offer. The way you do that is you you constantly upskill, right? You increase your level of knowledge. You provide uh, motivation. You provide inspiration. You lead by example, right? All of these things you do provide some sort of value to people. Even a small quote can lighten up someone's day. You can be that person who does that for them. That is providing some sort of value. Now, how much you can cash in on quotes, probably not much because everybody else is doing it out there, but you're here learning how to do Facebook, how to make money on Facebook Live videos. You can dominate that sector by learning, right? By investing, by doing Facebook Live videos that actually provide value to people. That can be your point of difference from everyone else there, else out there simply uh, posting little uh, little quotes, right? Or, or, or write-ups or anything like that. There are a lot of people that do that. You can be the difference to the mold, okay? Again, I highly recommend you go check out Ray Higdon and you follow him and, and see what it is that he actually does. Now, you might be wondering, hang on, Sam, why don't you do Facebook Lives if this works so well? That's because my time is limited, right? And I can really only focus on the things that provide me the biggest return for my investment, meaning my time, my money, my effort. And in this particular case, we are talking about time and money, right? So when it comes to time and money, I do a lot better on YouTube, which is why you're here watching this video, 